All right, I figured I'd do a video on my heater. Hopefully this will help someone out if they have the same problem that I had. I've been running on the little buddy down here for two and a half weeks or whatever it is. I've gone through about six or seven of them propane tanks. I'm tired of buying them, and I had my propane tank outside. It's a 120-gallon tank filled up this summer when they had the uh, customer appreciation day. And they gave you a better rate. I forget what that was. I think it was a dollar fifty-seven a gallon, I believe. Well, anyway, this my old heater, which is right on the floor. It's the one I bought last fall. Hasn't worked. The pilot light would light up, and as soon as you would turn up dial up on the thermostat, it would call for for propane, and it would drain down the pilot light, and then you'd hear a click, and the whole unit would shut off. So I thought it was a regulator on the tank because I have an old tank and I had some moisture in it. So I thought the regulator sat all summer and something happened to it. So I figured, all right, it's the regulator. So I went down to the propane company. I brought the regulator down. This, it was a brand new one they brought me last fall. So they gave me a new one. I came and installed it because I thought that was a problem and did the same thing. So then I was thinking it was the, the heater itself. So we're building the addition. So Shelly bought another brand new heater this is 12,000 um, we were gonna, so we need one on the addition anyway so I said let's order another heater so I just installed this heater brand new just came in and did the same thing <laughs> so I was like pissed I was like so I was like all right it's, it's got to be a blockage in the line um, turn the light on so I checked this trap down here and it was bone dry, nothing in it. So then I was like, all right, it's got to be something to do with this line. That was brand new copper I bought. So I um, took this apart here, took it apart at the regulator at the 120 gallon tank. And I brought my compressor over there. And I started squirting compressed air in this half inch copper line, disconnected on both ends, like I said. And Shelly was in here. I told her to get a towel because I didn't know if water was going to fly out of here or whatnot. So I turned, uh, started squirting compressed air in the pipe. And then all of a sudden I hear a big bang inside the cabin. There was some type of restriction in that copper line. I don't know what. And there was some res, you know, some dust in here. I don't think any liquid came out. But I don't know what was clogging that pipe up. I don't know because it sat for the, the summer. I, I have no idea. But I'm just finally glad to get this heater working. It's got some pretty good heat coming off of it. So I'm getting rid of that tank. I just ordered a 250 gallon tank and I got like 70 gallons in that 120 gallon tank. So it's going to be good to use this propane. And now I'm going to tee off and run a line to my grill off the 120 gallon. And, and uh, December 12th, they're bringing me my 250 gallon tank. So we're going to run the two heaters and the grill off of it. And it's a free tank rental as long as I use 1.5 tanks per year. So I think we'll be able to do that, especially with the grill hooked up to it. But if anyone else has a blockage or they're having a pro problem with their propane, just blast some comp compressed air through it. And then since you run uh, compressed air through the line, and when you go to turn on the pilot light, you're going to have to hold down on this button for about 10 minutes to purge the air through the system before the propane will get to the, to the heater. So I have to remember that too. Hopefully this will help somebody out. I've been so frustrated the last two and a half weeks not with this heater not working. And then our little dog Jenny, which is right here, porker. she's about 15 years old. She's a little porker. She caught her tail on fire on that heater. <laughs> so now I can get this heater off of the floor. And she's so old she didn't even notice her, tear, her uh, tail was like on fire and the smoke detectors and everything went off so it's you know in this tiny cabin now I can get this heater off the floor and uh, move on to the next project which is the addition so alright guys let's figure I'll show you this heating dilemma if you got a blockage squirt some air through your line I don't understand how it got clogged up it's an old tank maybe there was some moisture in it or whatever it sat through the summer and something got clogged up somehow but that's what I found out and that's working now we got heat we got heat